एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑरिक्लेट्स वीकली न्यूज आई एम श्रेया दिस इज श्री एंड विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट इन टू दिस वीक्स न्यूज अपडेट्स श्री व्हाट आर यू डूइंग श्रेया आई एम डीलिंग विद अ केस ओके देयर इज अ सिनेरियो हियर कैन यू हेल्प इट या प्लीज रीड आउट अ 40 ईयर ओल्ड मैन केम टू ईआर विद अ सडन कंप्लेंट ऑफ फीवर वॉमिटिंग्स एंड सडन ऑनसेट ऑफ एपिगैस्ट्रिक एब्डोमिनल पेन Okay. Vitals are stable at the time of presentation hmm. with BP on the lower side and okay. pulse been in tachycardia. Patient is known alcoholic and he is not a smoker. Hmm. On examination all the systems are normal but on abdominal examination tenderness is present in the epigastric region discoloration of the skin is seen around the umbilicus and in the flank region. What may it be the case? Let me try to figure it out. Uh the gastric pain vomitings discoloration what guys do you know the answer okay i think we can discuss it at the end of the video sure meanwhile all clicks you also guess the diagnosis and please comment it below okay now let's jump into the news we don't have time yeah the hot news i have got today is regarding the update of nmc bill that is fixation of the fee structure of the 50% seats in private and deemed to be universities that must be on par with the government college fee structure this has been held by the madras high court why are there any loopholes in the nmc's memorandum with respect to the office memorandum if the fees for these 50% of the seats in both private and deemed to be universities is on par with the government medical colleges okay. these other 50% seats can be cross subsidized Okay that is there is a high chance for that other 50% seats to be held vacant okay so what about the need pg counseling then the court also stated that need pg counseling will not be halted that is and also they have stated clearly that need pg counseling will be held based on the fee structure that is on the previous year oh okay so according to the tentative schedule the need pg counseling is about to begin on 15th of september if i am not wrong right? yeah it will be started on 15th september 2022 okay that is the registration and the payment process will begin on 15th september 2020 2022 to 12 noon of 28th september 2022 and choice filling and locking will be from 28th september to 25th september verification will be on 23rd and 24th september seat allotment will be on 26th and 27th september results will be out on 28th september and finally the reporting and joining will be on 29th september to 4th of october 2022 oh many dates to remember yeah and, and also do you know that many seats have been added to the existing seats oh yeah i've heard about it almost 1134 seats have been added Okay. That is 468 to the government medical colleges and 648 to the private colleges. So yeah. if you're done with your long news, I have something for our foreign medical graduates. Uh, the FMGE exam date has been announced, which will be on 4th of December 2022, and the exam will be conducted on a computer-based platform. Uh, at various test centers across the country and the application form can be submitted online from 9 September 2022 to 29 September 2022 and the link is given below and the results will be declared on 30th of December 2022 okay it's a good news i think it is i think i have another news regarding the ukraine medicals oh what's that regarding to the mobility program which is offered by the ukraine it has been considered in the commission and being consulted with the ministry of external affairs oh. it has been intimated that this academic mobility program is a temporary relocation of the seats in different universities globally okay. i think i have another news regarding ukraine medicals oh what's that in regarding to the mobility program which has been offered by the ukraine it has been considered in consultation with the ministry of external affairs whereas it is intimated that this academic mobility program is a temporary relocation of seats in different universities globally okay. but however the committee said they have no objection regarding this mobility program provided the screening test regulations of 2002 are fulfilled it's tanishka from haryana who bagged the a1 with a score of 715 oh just like kohli 71st century exactly 
and followed by Vatsa, Ashish and Hrishikesh who also scored the same 715. And this year, uh, 9,93,000 students were qualified out of around uh, 17,64,000 who have appeared for the exam. And also the cutoff scores for all the categories this year have been the lowest in the last three years. That is, they have been around, it has gone down to 117. Oh, then what about UG counselling? The UG counselling differs from state to state and uh, it is expected to begin in the month of September or October okay. of 2022. And another news I have is, uh, due to shortage of time, the NMC has extended the recognition of existing courses at various medical colleges without routine inspection by a notice issued on 7th of September 2022. However, random surprise inspection may be carried out in the medical colleges based on the track record of that medical college uh, for the academic year 22 to 23. Oh. And based on these inspection outputs, the decision will be taken. Ouch! What happened? I've got my booster dose yesterday and it's painful. Are you scared of infections and vaccines, Shreya? Of course, I am. I think you have got a good news regarding that. What was that? For the first time in India, Bharat Biotech's COVID-19 vaccine named as BBB154, that is Incovac, becomes the world's first intranasal vaccine. It is a chimpanzee adenovirus recombinant vaccine which was approved for emergency situations for above 18 age group people. And that reminds me of another update. Last week, India introduced its first indigenously developed cervical cancer vaccine, which is a quadrivalent HPV vaccine named Servavac. And it has been developed by Serum Institute of India and Department of Biotechnology. And the good news is that it is a low cost vaccine, uh, which is uh, likely to be available at an affordable rate around 200 to 400. Wow. Unlike the already existing vaccines, which cost around 4000, which we import from the foreign countries. So that is really a good news. And also the health ministry is planning to include this quadrivalent HPV for girls aged 9 to 14 years in under the national immunization schedule. Oh. Yeah, that is a good news indeed. Are we missing on something, Shreya? What are we missing on? Oh yeah, the diagnosis that you asked earlier. Yeah. Okay, let me recall it. A 40 year old male with epigastric pain, vomitings, is an alcoholic. He has epigastric tenderness and bluish discoloration around umbilicus and on the flanks. Okay. What do you think the likely diagnosis would be? So the patient came with acute abdomen. So an alcoholic, vomitings and pain. So it could probably be acute pancreatitis. That's right, Shreya. Good. Can you say to which infection it can be a complication? Infection that can have this as a complication? Yes. Is it mums if I'm not wrong? Yeah. Can okay. you answer what are the investigations we will done for this case? I think the diagnosis is based on serum amylase and serum lipase levels and it could be confirmed with ultrasound abdomen and CT abdomen. Correct, Shreya. Good. The signs I have mentioned earlier are Cullen sign that is discoloration around the umbilicus and Gray Turner sign that is discoloration in the flank region. I'm sure I'll forget them. Simple Shreya, Cullen, U and L matches that is okay. discoloration around the umbilicus. Okay. Great turns, turn around the patient so that you can see discoloration in the flank region. Did oh, you get that? That's cool. It is easy. Yeah. Thanks. For more information, you can follow us on Instagram and Telegram by the links given below. And please like, share and subscribe Oracle for more updates. That's all for today guys. We'll see you on next Saturday again. Bye bye guys.